Now, where to plant my spring bulbs? Daffodils and snowdrops. Hmm. Hmm. Over there should do. By the holly bush. Hello, Percy. Hello. Look at all these berries. I don't think I've ever seen so many. Well, you know what that means. It's going to be a long, cold winter this year. Oh, do you think so? Oh, yes. <laughs> I expect there'll be a few visitors in my nice warm hut this winter. Mole, I thought we had an agreement. No mole hills on the grass. Oh, Percy, I'm ever so sorry. I'm trying to get to the woods. Hmm. I must have lost my way. Well, try to dig more carefully in future. Right ho, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> A few bulbs left. I'll plant them around the oak tree. Yes, here should be perfect. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Come on, then. Show yourself. Boo! <laughs> I surprised you, didn't I, Percy? <laughs> yes, you certainly did. <laughs> what are you burying, Percy? Nuts and berries for the winter. No, they're my spring bulbs. Ooh, I've been burying acorns for the winter. Have you? Well, it's a good job, too. It's going to be a long, cold winter this year. Really? Oh, well, I'd, I'd better bury these last few, then. <laughs> They're in a special, secret hiding place. <laughs> Bye, Percy! Bye! <clears throat> there. Finished. And I'll see you next spring. Well, I suppose it's time I was heading back to my hut for some tea and buttered toast. <sighs> Who's been digging up my bulbs? Hmm. Someone has tried to eat them. How strange. Perhaps the mole got lost again. Any molehills. <laughs> Besides, he'd prefer a wriggly worm to a daffodil bulb. Who could have done this? Hmm. Hmm. I've got a feeling I'm about to solve this little mystery. What are you doing with my bulbs? Well, well, you see, Percy, it's well, I, I, I can't, I can't find them. <laughs> there. Can't find what? <laughs> it's my, it's my acorns. <laughs> 
I, I hid them in a special, special secret hiding place, and, and now I, I can't remember where where it is. <laughs> oh. oh dear! Perhaps you could get some more. I could collect them in my basket. There aren't any left on the tree, Percy. I mean, all those acorns. What will I do for, for the winter? Don't worry. We'll just have to keep on digging till we find them. Oh, is that your tummy? Are you hungry? No, no Percy. I, I, I think it came from... Shush. The... There it is again. It's coming from the ground. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, Percy. I seem to have lost my way again. I'm trying to get over the... Over the... <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. You're very welcome. <laughs> now, now I'd better hide them again. <laughs> Somewhere really safe. <laughs> oh, can I help? Please. Sounds more fun than going to the woods. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you've got your acorns back, aren't you forgetting something? What's that, Percy? My bulbs. Oh. The ones you pulled up. You mean, you mean those? <laughs> <laughs> Only two more to go. Then it's tea and buttered toast. <laughs> Can you hear that? I think I can hear music. <laughs> and laughter. <laughs> oh, and what's that lovely smell? It's party time. Wait for me. Let's celebrate with C. <laughs> Come and join in all the festive fun Monday at 4.45. Once upon a time, not so long ago, there was a little girl and her name was Emily. And she had a shop. There it is. It was rather an unusual shop because it didn't sell anything. You see, Everything in that shop window was a thing that somebody had once lost and Emily had found and brought home to Bagpuss. Emily's cat, Bagpuss. The most important, the most beautiful, the most magical, saggy old cloth cat in the whole wide world. Well now, one day Emily found a thing and she brought it back to the shop and put it down in front of Bagpuss, who was in the shop window, fast asleep as usual. But then Emily said some magic words. 
Bagpuss, dear Bagpuss, old fat furry catpuss, wake up and look at this thing that I bring. Wake up, be bright, be golden and light. Bagpuss, oh hear what I sing. Bagpuss was wide awake. And when Bagpuss wakes up, all his friends wake up too. The mice on the mouse organ woke up and stretched. <coughs> Madeleine, the rag doll. Gabriel, the toad. Oh, look, look. And last of all, Professor Yaffle, who is a very distinguished old woodpecker. He climbed down off his bookend and went to see what it was that Emily had brought. <laughs>